Hi guys, um, so today I wanted to go over some stuff before you take your local government quiz and you can either use this while taking the quiz or use this as a review until you feel comfortable ready to take the quiz. Um, but I thought it would be a good idea um, to talk about some of it. So the first thing I want to talk about is some government services that the government provides and makes available. The first one is public schools. So you go to a public school um, and that's something that the government makes available. Uh, that way everybody has the opportunity to go to school and nobody can feel like they can't uh, go to school. The next one that the government provides are libraries. Libraries are places that you can look at books, you can do research, you can get information. There's a library right next to our school and uh, it's free. So that's really cool. Next we have parks and roads. So uh, you could go to the park. Um, maybe there's a playground and swings. Maybe it's just some grass and you can relax. But that's something. And then roads, the roads that we drive on that our cars go on, those are maintained and kept safe by the government. So that's why you see construction a lot of the time on the roads, because they're continuously fixing them all the time. <laughs> Next, we have the fire department. The fire department helps keep us safe in emergencies. So like if there was a fire or sometimes um, a medical emergency, they might come first before the ambulance um, sometimes you might have seen them at school when we've had uh, some emergencies at school. The police department. We have a police officer who works at our school to keep us safe, but there are police um, all throughout the country and through all throughout our community to help keep us safe as well. I'm going to skip mayor duties real quick and come down here. These are some bigger pictures, so you might be able to see them easier. We talked about the public schools, and that um, that's a school you go to. Libraries, there's one right next to our house, or our house, <laughs> next to our school, and they help keep, uh, or help provide books for people. Um, the roads, so they, that's why there's construction on the roads. Parks, this is a nice little park, uh, and so they provide that for us. The police department, um, they keep us safe. And then the fire department. So if there is a fire, that's who we would call. <laughs> now I want to go back up. We're going to talk about mayor duties. So last week you did a whole worksheet on what the mayor does. Um, but I wanted to go over it again just to help reinforce it in our minds and prepare us for a quiz. So, something the mayor does is enforce the laws and signs new laws. So, and they enforce the laws and sign new laws. So, those are uh, rules, and then they sign new rules that the city wants to make. So, that's what they do. They also oversee a city's main departments, including the police, fire, education, housing, and transportation. So they are responsible for making big decisions for those uh, departments. And a mayor is also responsible for making sure that the city services work well. So they're in charge of making sure everything's running smoothly and that it's everybody's doing what they need to do. They also decide how to spend money on local programs such as construction projects, parks, roads, and more. So they create the budget and decide how to spend the money. Next, I wanted to go over our vocab because part of your quiz is about matching vocab. So I wanted to do that with you. This is the answer key. So everything's already correct. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Community. 
Community is a place where people live and work together. So that can be a couple different things. Like um, our school could be like a community. Um, some of you live in Lake Mary. Some of you live in Samford. Both of those are communities. So you're a part of a community. Yeah. <laughs> Next. We have citizen so citizen is a person who lives in a community so you are a citizen because you are a part of a community um your family are citizens because they live in a community we have the government a group of citizens who make the laws so the government would be our leaders in our towns like our mayor um and other people who make up our government and they're the ones who make the laws or rules for our city then we have the mayor a leader of a city or town so just like we have the president of the united states who is in charge of our country and we have the governor who is in charge of our state we also have a mayor who is in charge of our city Next, we have law, a rule that makes a community a safe place to live. So we have rules in our classroom, but uh, a law would be like, um, like speed limit signs that make sure people don't go too fast on a road. Those are laws. Really make sure we'd have time. A uh, judge. A judge is a leader in the court who decides if a person has broken the law. So um, if you get caught speeding and you get a ticket, then you might have to go see a judge and see if he thinks that you broke the law or did something wrong. And if you do, then you might get a consequence. A consequence is something that happens because of something a person does. So we can have good consequences and bad consequences. A good consequence, if I brushed my teeth every day, a consequence of that would be my teeth would be healthy and strong. Um, if I hit my friend, then I'd get a bad consequence. I might have to stop playing and sit by myself in my desk and write an apology and that's not fun. So that might be a bad consequence that you get when you do something wrong. But you can have good consequences too for when you're doing stuff right. I also wanted to show you what your quiz looks like and how to go about doing it um so we have our vocab words here you can move them to where they fit um i'm not looking at what the those are i'm not giving you answers there that doesn't mean that's where they go but read the <clears throat> the answers like what we went over and then match the word to the right sentence here Next, it says list and draw the services that local government provides. You don't need to do that. I put the pictures there for you, so you can go ahead and just drag and drop which services the government provides. Um, now, some of these are ones we went over, but there is one that we did not talk about. So that one would not go in one of those four boxes. So there is a wrong answer there. Next, I would... It says to circle all the responsibilities of a mayor. So we went over all the responsibilities of a mayor, just like you did last week. And what you can do to circle it, you can click on shape. Go down to shapes, pick circle. And then you can make a circle around the one you want. Oh, that blocks it. So I want to go up to the little color thing and hit transparent. And now I can see which one you chose. Now, if I wanted, I could go back and do it again for a different one. 
I want to make a circle that one. So now I can see which one you chose, and now I've made my circles around my answers. I want to go up and write my name. My name is Mrs. Winston. You would write your name. And then if you want, you can also write the date. I'm doing mine on April 20th of 2020. So if you want, you can write the date, and then I would finish my quiz and turn it in. You can either email it to me or... Uh, put it up in eCampus. Either way is fine. That's it.